We have another example on the board. Please notice that this time we have given current RMS. My problem is not asking me for any peak values, that's why I'm going to solve this problem using RMS. Okay, so let's start from finding voltage source. We have given I total and we have given Z total. If we have given I total and Z total, we can find the voltage source. And like always, we are going to assume that voltage source is supposed to have angle zero. So that's why I'm going to write voltage source is equal I total times Z total, where I total is equal 16 milliamps and Z total is equal to kilohms. So this is equal 32 volts and angle of zero degrees. Okay, I always try to make voltage source having angle zero degrees because the analysis is, is going to be a little bit simpler. So, next we're supposed to find X of L. Please notice that we have given frequency and we have given inductance. So, formula for X of L says X of L is equal 2 pi FL. Don't forget that uh, we're supposed to add J to our answer or angle 90 degrees. I prefer to work with polar forms, that's why I'm going to add angle 90 degrees. So I have 2 pi times the frequency 320 hertz times L, which is equal to 3 Henry's is equal 6.03 kilo ohms and angle of 90 degrees. Don't forget, X of L has to be written always with angle of 90 degrees or J if you want to express this answer in rectangular form. Okay, so this is the rectangular form, this is the polar form. We solve the problems using polar forms. So, next we have to find the resistance. In order to find the resistance in the parallel circuit, first we have to find the total admittance. So, I have to find Y total first. Y total is equal to 1 over Z total. So this is equal 1 divided by 2 kilohms. This is equal 500 micro siemens. Okay. Please notice that our admittance doesn't have angle. In order to make this answer to be complete, we're supposed to find the angle theta. In order to do so, we're supposed to find first the inductive susceptance. So I have to find BL. BL is equal 1 over X of L. This is equal 1 divided by and X of L we found is equal 6.03 kilo ohms and angle of 90 degrees. This is equal 165.83 micro siemens and angle of negative 90 degrees. So this is my inductive susceptance. Next, I suppose to find the conductance. Okay, conductance. I'm going to find from the formula, which says Y total is equal G plus BL. Okay? Because I do not have angle next to Y total, okay? I don't have angle. I supposed to use Pythagorean theorem in order to find the conductance. So I have to write square, square, and square over here. If you are going to use algebra, in order to find G, you're supposed to write that G is equal square root 
open parenthesis, y total square minus bl square. This is equal square root, open parenthesis, y total we found is equal 500 micro Siemens raised to the second power minus BL which is equal 165.83 micro Siemens raised to the second power and this is equal 400 71.7 micro Siemens. So this is the value of the conductance. Now we are ready to find the angle which I'm going to write next to y total. In order to find the angle I'm supposed to use the formula for power factor. Power factor is equal cosine of angle theta which is equal g over y total. Please notice that we have g already, we have y total, so we can find the angle theta. So I'm going to use this part of my formula to find, to find angle theta. So if theta is equal inverse cosine and I have g over y total. Okay, so this is equal inverse cosine and I have G which is equal 471.7 micro Siemens divided by Y total which is equal 500 micro Siemens. Okay, use the calculator and you're supposed to obtain the value negative 19.36 degrees. Now, someone is going to say, how come you got negative over here, right? Because we are talking about the RL circuit, right? The angle next to Z total is supposed to be positive because we have RL circuit. But please notice that the angle which we found is the angle which is going to be next to y total. That's why I'm going to write uh, y next to angle theta. It means that this angle is for the total admittance. So, what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to write that y total is equal 500 micro Siemens and angle of negative 19.36 degrees. Now we can verify if our answers for BL and G are correct. How? Simply convert this polar form okay, of the total admittance to rectangular form. If you are going to convert this to the rectangular form, you are going to get the answer 471.72 micro Siemens minus J 165.75 micro Siemens, where the real part of my answer represents the conductance and the imaginary part represents the inductive susceptance. Now I'm supposed to compare these values with the values which I got before. So I have G, I have 471.72, I got 471.7 micro Siemens, so they're very close to each other, and I have negative J, 165.75, right? So I have 165.83, right? And negative J, negative 9 degrees. So these two values are also very close to each other. So 
it means that at this moment we are okay with our calculations. Next we're supposed to find the current which will go through the resistor. In order to do so we're supposed to write Ohm's law. So I have IR is equal to voltage across resistance divided by resistance. But someone is going to say voltage across the resistor is not given. It's not given? Let's check. This is parallel circuit. In parallel circuit voltages are always the same. So I can say that voltage source is equal to voltage across the resistor and it's also equal to voltage across the inductor and everything is equal to 32 volts. Why 32? Because we found voltage source. Remember, voltages across the components in parallel circuit are the same. So I suppose to ask question, okay, so where is resistance? We don't have to have resistance if we have conductance. You can rewrite this formula as Vr over 1 times 1 over R, where 1 over R is conductance. So I can rewrite this formula like this, Vr times G, because 1 over R is G and Vr over 1 is just Vr, where Vr is equal 32 volts times G, we found is equal 471.7 micro siemens. I'm going to use this value. This is equal 15.09 milliamps. So this is the current which will go through the resistor. Next, we're supposed to find the current which will go through the inductor. IL is equal VL over X of L. This is equal to VL over 1 over BL. Someone is going to say that X of L we found. We have already the value of X of L. I said, okay, we have it, but I want you also to practice this form. So you can rewrite this as VL over 1 times BL over 1, which is equal VL times BL, where VL we found is equal 32 volts times BL, which is equal 165.83 microsiemens and angle of negative 90 degrees. This is equal 5.3 milliamps and angle of negative 90 degrees. Okay, so this is the current which will go through the inductor. Now we're supposed to verify if our answers are correct. What we're supposed to do? We're supposed to simply add these two currents, I mean, I total is equal IR plus IL, where we found that IR is equal to 15.09 milliamps plus IL, which is equal 5.3 milliamps and angle of negative 90 degrees. This is equal 15.99 milliamps and angle of negative 19.35 degrees. So if you are going to compare this value with the value of I total which we got before, you will see that values are very close to each other because before we got like 16 milliamps and angle we got negative 19.36. Okay, so we can say that at this moment our calculations are okay. Next, I suppose to find the power factor. Power factor is equal to cosine of angle theta. This angle can be 
angle which we have next to z total or next to y total. We found the angle which is next to y total. Okay, so I can write that I suppose to have cosine an angle of negative 19.36 degrees. Okay, use the calculator and you're supposed to obtain the value of 0.943 and because we are talking about the RL circuit, we're supposed to use word lag. We're supposed to write the word lag next to the value of power factor. Why? Because current, right? Total current in this system, right? Is going to lag the voltage source by angle of 19 point 36 degrees so this is the power factor next i supposed to find the reactive power ql is equal vl square over x of l i supposed to use this formula because i'm dealing with the rms values if you would use big values, you're supposed to write one half. So I have 32 volts to the second power over X of L, which is equal to 6.03 kilo. We found it. Supposed to give you the answer 169.5 milli volt ampere reactive okay so this is the reactive power in my circuit next i supposed to find the apparent power s s is equal voltage source raised to the second power over z total so this is equal 32 volts raised the second power over z total to kilohms equals 512 millivolt ampere okay so this is the apparent power in my circuit next i supposed to find the series equivalent circuit so in order to do so, I suppose to simply find Z total. But Z total is given, but we don't have angle. So we're supposed to write that Z total is equal to 1 over Y total. Because we found Y total, we found the magnitude and angle, so we can use it. At this moment, please switch your calculators to the rectangular mode, right? So we have to make sure that your answer is going to appear in rectangular form. So let's write this. 1 over y total is equal 500 micro Siemens, and we found the angle negative 19 point 36 degrees if you are going to switch this to the rectangular form okay i mean you are going to get the answer in rectangular form you're supposed to get something like this 1.88 kilohms plus j 663 ohms where the real part represents the resistance RS and the imaginary part represents X of LS. Next I'm supposed to find the inductance. Okay, I'm going to use this space. We have formula for the inductive reactance which says X of LS is equal to pi F 
ls. In order to find ls, I'm supposed to divide both sides of my formula by 2 pi f, and I'm going to obtain x of ls over 2 pi f. So I have x of ls, 663 ohms, divided by 2 pi frequency, 320 hertz. So ls is equal 329.74 milli Henry's. Okay, so this is the inductance, right, in the series equivalent circuit. So right now I'm ready to draw the diagram. I have resistance and I have inductor. Voltage source we found is equal 32 volts and frequency is equal 320 hertz. Resistance is equal 1.88 kilo ohms and LS is equal 329.74 millihendris. Now I can say that the problem is solved.